What's up guys? Tony Rican here and today I'm gonna throw down and have a little bit of fun with pizza. What kind? I'm making a chicken parmesan pizza. And you know exactly what this is, don't you? That's right, this is awesome. So let's just go and get started and jump right into this one. Remember guys, if you love all the cool content I'm putting out here on my channel, the easiest way to help it keep on rolling and help the channel grow is just to hit like and share on this video, drop a comment down below, then go ahead and subscribe and share my YouTube channel. That way, every Monday and Friday you'll get a brand new, really cool recipe just like this chicken parmesan pizza. Which to start, I have my oven preheating to 400 degrees. Then, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a couple of tablespoons of oil and start heating it up in a pan. While that heats up, I'm going to go ahead and slice my chicken into some nice small bite-sized chunks and throw them in a bowl with some flour. After my chicken was all chunked and I got it covered in that flour, I went ahead and I beat a couple of eggs and poured a bunch of breadcrumbs into a bowl. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take that chicken, get it nice and coated in that egg, I'll get it covered in those breadcrumbs, and then I'll let them fry on each side for a couple minutes so they're nice golden brown. Once that chicken's done, I'm going to go ahead and prep my crust. Now I have a nice circular pizza stone. You could do this on a rectangle baking tray, whatever. What I'm going to do first though is I'm going to take some cornmeal, spread it on there. And I'm just using a store-bought refrigerated dough. I'll throw that over the cornmeal. Then I went ahead, I poked some holes in it with a fork so it doesn't rise too much in the oven. And I'm going to go ahead, pop this in my oven for say about 10 minutes, and then we'll be ready to finish this one off. After that crust has had a little time in the oven, we're ready to finish this one off. I'm going to take some pizza sauce, our cooked chicken, some Parmesan cheese, some Fatina, and last some mozzarella cheese. Top that with a little basil, and I'll pop this back in the oven for say about 10 more minutes, and this one is done. And that's it guys, with that little bit of work, this cool twist on pizza and a twist on chicken parm is done. Just take a look at how it came out. It freaking looks awesome. All my cheese is nice and melted, my crust has got a nice color, but you know, we can't just look at this. I gotta go ahead and grab some and just dig right in. Mmm. Sorry about that, big mouthful. This is freaking awesome. You guys are gonna love it. So hit like, share, comment on the video down below. If you need complete step-by-step -step parental instructions, check out AverageGuyGourmet.com. Head over to my Patreon. Consider subscribing for even $1 to help this content keep coming out. Subscribe to my channel, give this one a try, and we'll see you guys next time.